Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will make a simple demonstration of the electric motor. Here I have only the rotor of an electric motor. It was a universal electric motor. But uh, all electric motors work on the same principle that is the interaction of magnetic fields. The magnetic field of the rotor and the magnetic field of the stator, which is the part that goes around the rotor. Those magnetic fields can be created either by a coil, like in the case of this rotor, or by permanent magnets, which is what I am using here in order to create the field of the stator. You can see here that we have the commutator and my brushes are just two copper wires. Normally in motors the brushes are made of carbon because uh, carbon has uh, low friction and that reduces the wear on the commutator. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project Consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. As you can see, the rotor has a coil. Actually, there are several coils. This commutator has 24 uh, points of connection. That is 12 pairs. That means that this rotor has 12 coils. And when the electricity flows through the commutator, it energizes one of the coils for example, this coil here, and when the electricity goes through the coil, it creates a magnetic field around the coil in this direction. Suppose, for example, that here we have a north uh, pole and a south pole here. Now, when we put a magnet that also has a north here, there will be a repulsion. However, the rotor cannot move in this direction and the magnet is also fixed so the only way for the north pole to go away from the other is to rotate but when the rotor rotates another of the coils is energized the next coil now has a north pole here and there will be also a repulsion. Therefore, this continues to rotate because of the repulsion with north and north. This is just an example. It can be south also. So that is the function of the commutator to change the connection from one coil to the next as this rotor is turning. I will turn on the power supply. I am using only 8 volts and when I bring the magnets close to the rotor, it starts to rotate. Changing the polarity of the magnets also changes the direction of rotation. If you like big sparks and high voltage, you may want to visit Tested to Destruction channel. Lots of experiments and great fun. The link is in the description of this video.
Okay, there you have it, a simple explanation of the electric motor. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next one.